Hello guys, uh, welcome to this uh, video. It's my first video actually that I'm putting on YouTube. Uh, the main goal is to keep it short and to focus on one specific small uh, part of a site and to make it with minimum amount of code to make it a really uh, awesome uh, feature that you can't achieve with the normal um, with the normal settings of the team, let's say. Um, so it's going to go specifically you see home and demo so this is just something i put up this is the uh, header of the team i'm using cadence uh, team every video i make will be with the cadence team i'm using them for two years now and i'm really really happy with the the responsiveness with the way they work with the updates they put out and the involvement i'm I've seen a huge improvement in the last uh, two years and uh, you can achieve a lot with uh, the Cadence team and their uh, block editor as well. Um, they also have really nice features in their free team um, that I'm going to be using right now. And they also have, of course, a pro package that you might want to uh, see uh, to use in the future. Um, I'm using uh, them for every site I do. Uh, I really like, uh, like the team and their block editor. So let's get into it what i'm trying to achieve in this uh, tutorial is make this a hamburger icon so on desktop i don't want to see the normal menu but i want to see the hamburger icon this is something you can achieve just by uh, changing some settings in the customizer of the cadence team um, and then i also want to make the hamburger icon when i scroll down i want to make it sticky so it stays on the same spot and it scrolls down together with the page this is something you can't achieve with the default settings, so uh, we will have to use a little bit of code, but we can achieve it with only one line of code, so it's not too difficult. And I will also show you uh, how I found the right selector to use, so um, maybe it can come in handy if you want to try to do some stuff yourself and make it even fancier yourself, okay? So first things first, you have to make sure you have the Cadence team installed. If you don't know how, You'll have to go to the back end of the website, go to appearance, add new, and search for cadence, and then install and activate. Then we go back to the front end, and we're going to choose the customizer. He opens the menu. You have a lot of uh, options here. Um, I'm not going to go over them. I'm going to stick to the header for this tutorial. So I open up the header and then you see we have the primary navigation. So this is the one we see here, home and demo. And then if you go to tablet mobile tab, you see this is a um, hamburger icon with the label next to it. So I want this also to be the same on desktop. It's really easy to achieve this. You just go to design and you're going to change this screen size to switch to mobile header. I'm going to put in 4000 and I have a reason for this because you see this is the maximum we can do. If you want to make it higher like 9000, it defaults back to 4000. So for now, this is the maximum we can put in and immediately you see our um, screen uh, looks different. We have a mobile menu even when I'm staying on the desktop tab so that's already achieved really easy and quick that means of course if people uh, go to your website and they have a screen size that's bigger than 4000 maybe if they um, use a tv or they have a really wide angle monitor uh, that can be the case then of course uh, this won't work so it's only possible up until 4000 pixels if we do it like this with the tutorial okay um what which implication has this if you change this every change i make will uh, have to be in this tab now even changes for desktop version because if i go to desktop again i will show you this is the primary navigation let's say i want to add a logo on the left side so i go to the main row where my primary navigation is i go to the left part and i click on logo edit and you see nothing happens why is this because Cadence is using the mobile version, because I changed it, mobile header is used up until 4000 pixels. So every change we make, we have to go to this. You see here, there is no logo. It's only on desktop that I added it. So if I want it to show, I go to the same row and I'm going to add logo. And what do you see? Now we have immediately a change, a, a mobile uh, logo is coming up. And if I go back to desktop, you see it stays the same. 
So if you make edits and it doesn't work, it's probably because you're still on desktop and you have to be on tablet or mobile. Same thing, if I move this logo away, you see it doesn't change anything. You have to go to mobile, move it here, and then it's gone. So just a quick reminder, uh, if you're stuck, maybe it's because you're editing something in desktop and you have to be on tablet. Okay, let's go back to our desktop view. We want to maybe do some adjustments to the hamburger icon and to the label. So if I click on this pencil, I open up on the left side the options. You can put a label on it. You can also delete everything and then you just have the icon without the label. I'm just going to put back menu for now and just to show you something later on. And then you can by default choose three options, a little bit bigger hamburger or three dots underneath each other. I'm just going to stick with the default one. And if you go to the design tab, you can change the, the, the size. Uh, by default, it's way less than 60. I just put it to 60, so it's more obvious what I'm doing. But choose whatever you want, of course. Okay, so that's already fine. We do publish. And now, if I open up the website in another tab, I'm just going to select the site. Going to go to a new tab and open it. You see the desktop version is working just fine, but it's still not sticky, of course. We haven't put in any code. So what I'm going to do is click on it with my right mouse button and go to inspect. And now we see we have the code that's underlying the front end of the website. We have the label, we have the icon, and we're going to go a little bit higher up in the hierarchy until we find this one. This is the one we have to use to be able to make it sticky. I'm going to use the last part of this of these class names. I do Control C. I'm on a Windows PC. And I'm going to add this in our customizer. Go down here. I move my head out of the way. Additional CSS. It's a class name that I selected. So that means I have to use a dot like this. And then I'm going to paste what I just selected in the other uh, in the other page. I'm going to use the brackets, make sure it closes them. Just enter to make a new line. It's a little bit more clean to see uh, that way. And I just want to make sure that I selected the right element. So I'm going to put a border around it, a solid border, uh, a two pixel border, let's say. You already see that the border is actually there, but if you want to make it a, a bigger one, just to make it obvious, make it four pixels and we make it red, for example like this. So we see, okay, we selected the label and the icon, and that's the thing we wanted to achieve. And I want to make this sticky so it stays on top. So what we have to do is go to a new line, make a little adjustment to the position. So we select position, and then we make it fixed. So what it will happen now, if I scroll down, voila, already working just as I expected it would. The border is not necessary for me, so I'm going to put it, go make it go away again. So we already have this worked out perfectly. If I go to my tablet view, working perfectly. And if I go to mobile view, also working perfectly. So with one line of code, position fixed, it's already doing what I want it to do. I'm going to publish this going to go back to the other tab where I have the inspection, refresh it, and we see it works. Yeah. So if I go to 4000 pixels, what will happen then? You see we have the default uh, header again. Why? Because in Cadence at the moment we can't go higher than 4000. So if I go to one pixel below, we see we have the right uh, the thing we just changed, if we go higher to 4,000 again, it changes back to the default header. So it will work up until 39999, okay? Now I want to change something here. I want to make the menu go below the hamburger icon. Now they are next to each other. Uh, to save a little bit of space, especially on small mobiles, this takes up a lot of space i want it to be underneath it so how can we achieve this we have to again search for the label and the icon so i'm going to hover i'm going to click and now i have the right spot in the code and i want this part so we see that the label and the icon are laid out in a flex container 
if you're familiar with code you will know what i mean if you're not flex just means that the children so this is the label and the icon are displayed in a row next to each other by default so if you don't change anything just do display flex they will align in a row and then we see that this is the case here so what is the another option if i scroll down a little bit you see here display flex this is the option that makes it go like this i click on this little uh, icon next to it and then we see we can change some properties uh, here we see flex direction and by default you see it's saying it's a row we can make this a column and if i click on it what do you see voila it's already changing and it's looking a little bit more like i wanted to but i want menu to go on the bottom not on the top so we can also do column reverse and then we have everything we need so what can i do i'm going to or you use one of the class names here but i'm going to use the id mobile toggle copy this customizer now I have to use a hashtag, that's because I'm using an ID, and to select an ID, you use a hashtag, to select a class, you use a dot. Again, with the brackets, I'm going to push enter to make a new line, to make it a little bit more uh, easy to see. And then we're just going to do flex direction, and we're going to use column reverse, like this and close it off. And then you see we achieved what we wanted to achieve publish and then refresh here and we see everything works perfectly fine even if i make the screen smaller it's still working perfectly fine so that's it quick little edits two lines of code and you can achieve a fancy menu even on desktop see you soon thanks for